Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and today I am bringing you an incredibly, incredibly epic battle that I had against an opponent by the name of Dennis on Pokemon Online this week. Um, now, I have to give a quick shout out to Pokesonic because I did actually talk to you on Pokemon Online, and I'm also apologizing because I lied about the video that I was going to upload today because I had this battle and it was way more epic. But I'll, I'll talk about that at the end. But anyways, um, we got an NU match today. I'm using a new team that I really, really love. And I'm up against this guy by the name of Dennis, as I said. Um, right off the bat, um, I see you know that he has Doug Trio, which is going to be a problem, especially for my Magneton. So I have to make sure that I do not have those two, or have Magneton in, where it could be really vulnerable against that Doug Trio. Also, Swellow is kind of a problem because nothing on my team can really deal with it other than Magneton. So I'm going to have to try and, you know, keep this Magneton alive. It's looking like it's going to be really important. Um, but then um, he has the Mesprit, which I actually have been seeing more recently not using Trick and doing, like, Stealth Rock and that kind of stuff. So I'm not actually worried about that like I normally would be. Um, plus, I have Armaldo, with can, which can x scissor it for um, some really good damage. Um, I'm assuming the Licky Licky is some type of wall. That's usually what happens. Um, Magneton, again, is probably just going to be just like mine. So I'm not, I mean, I know what it's going to do, so I'm not really worried about that, even though they are kind of sometimes difficult to take out, depending on the kind of sets they run. And his Magmortar is potentially a very big problem because I don't have a very good fire resist on the special side on my team, which I have realized over, you know, the course of using this team, but I really don't see a need to change much up with it. Um, so I just kind of have to deal with that for now. But Quagsire would be the thing to take a fire attack, even though not being the best special wall, it's not going to take it that well, even though it's resisted. But um, I actually have played this guy before, so I was assuming he was going to lead off with Dugtrio like he did last time. So I just lead off with Throw because I know that if he wants to do that, Throw is probably the best guy to take it. But he actually leads off with Mesprit, and um, I go right for Substitute because I'm not really sure what this thing wants to do other than maybe like set up, you know, entry hazards or in this case, which we'll see later, screens. But um, he actually has Psychic, which I don't normally see. I normally see like three. Um, assist move type things and then u-turn but um on the turn that he psychics my substitute i actually go for bulk up and rather than waste the bulk up right away i actually choose to go for payback on this turn even though i am going to take a psychic because i do want to get some really good damage on this mess spirit because they can be a pain in the butt to take down but here i'm actually seeing he doesn't have leftovers which um i realize after he actually goes for the um light screen which he does right here I um, actually know he goes for Psychic, sorry, he's going to go for Light Screen, um, but I realize that he has the Light Clay item, but I bring in my Magneton to take the Psychic because, you know, Steel type and Resist, and I predict the Doug Trio switch here, so I automatically go back out into my Quagsire because Quagsire can deal with Doug Trio very well. Um, I do actually have HP Grass on my Magneton, but I don't want to go for that or didn't want to risk that in case he might have been Focus Sashed because I didn't have my Rocks up yet, but I just go for Scald because I feel like that's the safest move at the time, and... He brings in his Mesprit. So now um, I just take the opportunity to switch on to my Armaldo and set up my own rocks while um, he actually chooses to go for the light screen this turn. This is when it happens. Um, but basically, um, I'm in here. I set up my rocks. He goes for Psychic. It's going to be a three hit KO from there, which is really good for me, meaning that I can take another one on the following turn and then take it out with X Scissor, which is super effective and really good. So. Um, at this point, I'm not really sure what he's going to bring in next, but seeing at the low health I have, it's kind of obvious that Doug Trio is going to come in, and I can't really do anything about it. But I do need to get this mess spirit out of here, so I obviously have no choice but to take it out. But um, on this turn, when he get, does go into the Doug Trio, um, I really thought he might potentially go for Stone Edge, thinking that Earthquake might kill. So I did go for Rapid Spin, but as you can see, Earthquake still kills. But it's no big deal. Um, obviously, you know, now that my Armado is dead, I just switch back out into my Quagsire. There's nothing um, he can really do too badly to it. So I just go for Toxic on the Switch, which turns out to be a really good move. Um, and I get some Toxic on this Licky Licky. Um, I just like saying Licky Licky. Maybe I'm just a weirdo, but I think it's just a funny name. But anyways, um, this is definitely going to help wear it down because it's probably going to be some type of wall. So um, seeing that, though, I automatically just go out into my throw because I can just, you know, um, hit it for a super effective attack. 
Plus, even if it has seismic toss, I do have substitute, which is um, making subs that are bigger than seismic toss can damage. But he actually goes for knockoff, which turns out to be a very, very annoying part of this match later, because I can't really recover any HP anymore. Um, and that's kind of a problem because with you know substitute, you better hope that you have to you know take the hit so the sub doesn't break if you're not recovering any HP. But he goes for um, heal bell here, gets rid of his. Um, uh, poison, which means that um, he only has seven heals be heal bells left. I kind of keep track of this in a match because people often spam heal bell a lot, and I can generally PP stall it. But I go for bulk up, and then he switches out to Doug Trio, to which I storm throw him. Always lands a crit, which is an awesome move. I love it because it works really well against people that want to set up physically. Um, but the Dugtrio dies because Dugtrios are fairly frail. So now here he goes into Magneton, which I thought was very weird because obviously I have the fighting move. But he breaks my sub and I go for a storm throw again. But unfortunately he does live this, which you know just proves how ridiculously bulky Magneton can be. Um, but I do go out into my Quagsire to resist the Thunderbolt, obviously, and... Um, now he actually switches out, which makes me think that this Magneton is choiced. I actually never found out if it was or not, but that might also just mean he doesn't have a really good move to hit me with. But um, anyways, he goes out into Quagsire, and I go into, um, or I go for Scald here, predicting the Swellow to potentially come in on the um, obvious Earthquake that would easily take out the Magneton. But um, if Scald got the burn, it would be equally well. Um, or it would work out equally well on this Licky Licky because then he would be forced to go for Heal Bell again and that's another Heal Bell that he won't have for later. But I just go for Toxic again and he goes um, into, you know, normally Licky Licky, or normal Licky Licky stuff. Um, he's just going to be Heal Belling and Wishing and, um, you know, knock offing, I guess. But um, I basically went to or went for the earthquake there, predicting the magneton to potentially come back in to receive the wish, and I did not want that to happen. So um, then I go in and I just scald again because I'm still worried about the swallow coming in for free, which I do not want to happen. Um, so I do want to get damage on it no matter what. But he goes um, and he gets the burn this time with the scald. And here he goes out to magneton, which I thought was incredibly weird. But it worked out really well because I went right out into my throw to continue to not take any damage from this Licky Licky. And this play right here is basically the match. And I was so bad when this happened. Well, I wasn't bad, but he has HP ground on his Magneton. For, or it might have been HP ground or HP fire. Either way, he went to that for, he did that move for absolutely no reason. And I have no freaking idea why the hell he did that. But it ended up like pretty much costing me the match right there. I mean, obviously Thunderbolt would have been obvious, but it, whatever hidden power it was still wouldn't have done too much damage to my um, Quagsire if I went into that. But anyways, I go into Haunter, and I just take it out with a Thunderbolt, potentially. Um, I didn't want to go for Shadow Ball in case Licky Licky came in, or Swellow came in for free, because they obviously resist it. Or are immune to it, sorry. But um, I switch out here in a throw, because... Um, again, he doesn't have anything to hurt me with. The only attacking move I find out that he does have is Knock Off, which um, obviously is going to be doing zero damage to throw because I'm obviously resisting it, and I'm a really, really bulky Pokemon. So um, he goes for that. It does 1%, as you see there. Um, and I just go for Storm Throw to get some good damage on the Licky Licky. Obviously, um, you know, he can't do anything to me. Um, but here he actually goes for Protect. I have ob obviously no reason why. He's just trying to gain leftovers, I guess. But, um, you know, I'm just going to keep going for Storm Throw, and he can't do much to me. But at this point, he also doesn't want anything else on his team to take a Storm Throw. So he just, you know, keeps attacking with Licky Licky, and um, he go or I just kill it off with Storm Throw. So what looks like a really good position for me right now actually turns out to be not that great. Because he goes out into Swellow, and I know obviously what Swellow's going to do. It's a Guts, you know, Pokemon, whatever. So I go out into Haunter because I want to force him to use Brave Bird to get the recoil. Um, he actually goes for Quick Attack, which I was definitely not expecting. Um, but I do want to force him to use Brave Bird, so I basically just leave my Haunter in here to die. Um, now what I could have done is went out into Quagsire to get even more recoil on that, but it didn't really matter too much. Um... But here I actually do go out into my Quagsire, 
And I basically do it to get more, you know, toxic damage and whatnot. And I thought um, I could live this facade a lot better, but I didn't. So I actually went for recover, which turned out to be really stupid. Um, so now, basically, I missed out on an opportunity to potentially even take the Swallow out from that range. Even though Quagsire isn't the best special attacker, it could have potentially done that. But I just bring in Throw because I want to just add up that toxic damage, and I bring it in for free, basically as fodder to, you know, let him keep taking toxic. So at this point, he's going to die on the next turn from toxic, so I just bring in my Quagsire, and I'm just like, whatever, it's going to die, but so are you. So that leaves us at a 1-1 situation, which is kind of an epic showdown right now, in a way. Because I have my Girafferig left, and he has his Magmortar left. Girafferig outspeeds Magmortar normally, but if he's Scarfed, you know, he's going to kill me. But if he's Scarfed and he misses his Fire Blast, I win. So basically, it's down to this. He turns out to be Scarfed, and he actually hits his Fire Blast, so I don't get to do my Earthquake, and that doesn't kill him off. So basically, he wins in a 1-0, and this was probably the closest freaking match I've ever had, and it was so, so much fun, and I absolutely loved this so much. Anyways, I'm just... I was really happy, even though I lost this match. I also noticed that I'm a girl in this video, which I thought was very weird. But, um, if it wasn't for that random hidden power that he went for. I still don't know if it was ground or fire. I'm assuming it's ground because I, I don't think a hidden power fire would have killed an Eviolite Magneton. But if that didn't happen, I would have still had it at the end of the match and I would have been able to take hits from the Swellow. Um, I also have Thunder Wave on the Magneton, so I could have potentially Thunder Wave the Magmortar if he wanted to U-turn out into it, thus eliminating its Choice Scarf. So there were a ton of options that could have happened if I didn't make that switch. And that, you know, kind of bugs me because that was a really stupid move on my part. But, you know, this guy played really, really well, um, and I thought this was a heck of a match. But um, I just wanted to finish this off with um, me basically telling you what my next upload is going to be. It is another um, match with this team. It's pretty close to this team. I actually didn't have Magmor or sorry, um, Magneton or... Um, throw on it at the time, but um, somebody challenged me on PO the other day using the team that I uploaded the uh, analysis of, so I thought that was really funny, and I'm just gonna, you know, put that up later this week, um, just as like a funny thing for you guys to see, because I thought it was actually a pretty interesting match. Um, it's very cool knowing the, uh, that like other people you know are using your team or whatever but um i thought it was a lot of fun and i actually didn't know what i was going to do against it a lot of the time but that is pretty much it for this uh video excellent battle dennis i had you know so much fun with this and i'm glad it turned out to be really really close but that's it for um you know this game so take care as always and goodbye